Hey guys, how's it going? It is Forrest Smith, or Forrest G, with Glit F, or G-L-I-T-F. Welcome to Glit F. Uh, please check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Podbean, uh, Spotify. You can check my DCP network out at Patreon, uh, Google Play Music, you know, iTunes, all that good stuff. I'm here with you today. Sorry, it's been a while. <clears throat> I do apologize for that break. I've just been kind of going through a lot of life shit. So I'm trying to just juggle everything. Things are just really tough right now. But I'm doing what I can do because guess what? I was supposed to be shooting a video today with this Viltrox big LED light to help me with my lighting today with the green screening. But supposedly after getting a DC adapter... And having to buy my own batteries on Amazon for this damn thing. Apparently, I got a faulty f***ing light. So, I'm doing what I can now to make this look alright. I hope I can key it well enough or just make the background look good. Either way. I'm um, here to uh, break some news and uh, give you guys a little bit of a good time for, you know, maybe like 15 minutes of your life. As you guys know, you've heard about the whole sex abuse scandal in, in Pennsylvania. This morning, Catholics around the world are processing a stunning report out of Pennsylvania detailing horrific, horrific sexual, sexual abuses of children by hundreds of priests across the state of Pennsylvania. I am the one, don't wait your time, don't need the guns to get respect up on the street. State Attorney General Josh Shapiro led the two-year-long investigation and spoke very bluntly about the church's efforts to repeatedly cover up these crimes. The church officials routinely and purposefully described the abuse as horseplay and wrestling and inappropriate contact. It was none of those things. It was child sexual abuse, including rape committed by grown men, priests, against children. The stories of abuse by men who are given the highest level of trust are grotesque. Those entrusted to minister to their communities used gold crosses, necklaces, symbols of their faith to mark their victims, making them easier to target. A child was stripped naked and forced to stand on a bed and pose as Christ on the cross. One priest confessed to raping at least 15 boys, some as young as seven years old. Another abused five sisters from the same family. And please pay attention. The numbers we are about to go through are both stunning and disturbing. More than 1,000 children were abused in twisted and sadistic cases of exploitation, some of which included alcohol, whips, and holy water. And the state AG says he believes, his, his office believes there are even more. The grand jury report names 301 priests, though some remain redacted. But the scope of the abuse is staggering. It's staggering because you only get numbers this big if there are systematic uh -huh. cover-ups right. going on year after year. And it's not like this is a new story. It's pretty fucking angering. Like, why aren't people really upset about this? A Catholic cardinal would rather blame the gays than address the church's sex abuse problem. Quote, it is, of course, a tendency that is discorded. Okay. A Catholic cardinal responded to the sweeping Pennsylvania grand jury report on child sexual abuse in the Roman Catholic Church last week by ludicru ludicrously claiming homosexuality was to blame. Quote, it was clear after the studies following to the 2002 sex abuse crisis that most of the acts of abuse were, in fact, homosexual acts committed with adolescent young men. Cardinal Raymond Burke said in an interview on Thursday, like, what is up with people? Like, this is pretty... <laughs> this is, like, I shouldn't even be laughing right now. This is, like, really? There was a studied attempt to either overlook or to deny this, quote, end quote. Burke went on to emphasize that he believes there is a very grave problem of a homosexual culture, both among the clergy and within the church's hierarchy, that needs to be purified at the, at the root. 
he added, it is of course a tendency that is discorded. Downplaying the possibility there is any systematic systemic prob problem within the church, he claimed that Pope Francis bore direct responsibility for the scandal, calling on the pontiff to take action to enforce the church's disciplinary procedures. Contrary to Burke's rhetoric, there is no connection between child sex abuse and homosexuality. Pedophilia is classified as a paraf par paraphilia. A sexual disorder and has nothing to do with one sexual orientation which refers to the sexes a person might be oriented toward more men are more likely to experience pedophilic disorder and they are more likely to have access to young boys than they do young girls this is particularly true in the Catholic Church in which women have few leadership opportunities now, before I go forward with this, let me get one thing straight with all of you. With all you Americans who believe in America, and all you voters, and everyone who represents America, let me just say something real quick. Pedophilia is not a sexual orientation. Being gay, homosexuality, bisexuality, pansexuality, transgenderality, transsexuality. It's a sexual orientation pedophilia is not and the only people who are connecting or trying to connect pedophilia with the LGBT community is anyone who's associated with the right especially with the alt-right and I think it's disgusting that a party especially the alt-right comes up with some shit like that saying that pedof pedophiles are part of the LGBT community as well like, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. I just don't get it, you know? You condemn homosexuality. Our government is oppressing LGBT hard on since 2011 when the GOP took over in Congress, Senate, and now we have a majority GOP, which we've had for a long time. Nevertheless, conservatives have long drawn a connection between the two as a means for demonizing the LGBTQ community. There we go. Conservatives have deployed this particular tactic in direct response to past child sex abuse scandals within the Catholic Church. In 2010, when another example of ongoing abuse in the church came to light, Bill Honahue of the Catholic League ran a full-page ad in, in the New York Times blaming the issue on homosexuality. Fucking A. And that's pedophilia. And I completely condemn that as most LGBT Americans would fully disapprove of pedophilia and it's, they would all agree with me that it's not a sexuality and they're not a part of the LGBTQ plus community. Not a single bit. And the fact that Republicans refuse to talk about this, it's quite upsetting to be honest with you. Especially, you know, hypocrites like Graham Allen and shit like that. Quoting, while homosexuality does not cause predatory behavior and most gay priests are not molesters most of the molesters have been gay he insisted at the time more recently following the pennsylvania grand jury report donahue claimed once again that the problem is gay driven but also suggested horrifically that most of the victims were not raped because they weren't penetrated uh. Cardinal Burke himself is considered the leader of the conservative wing of the Vatican and Pope Francis' chief opposition. His comments last week were made during an interview with Thomas McKenna, president of Catholic Action for Faith and Family, an organization for which Burke is listed as an episcopal advisor. McKenna previously interviewed Burke in 2016, giving him a platform to condemn the University of Notre Dame for honoring Vice President Joe Biden, who is pro-choice and pro-marriage equality. Burke spoke to McKenna in 2014 as well, rebuking Pope Francis for responding, Who am I to judge? when asked about gay priests in the church. Okay. This is something that I think a lot of people are coming across nowadays. It's like a trending story. Now homosexuality is pretty much being linked to pedophilia, brought on by the church and the alt-right. And <laughs> it's quite disgusting to see how obsessive the Republican Party and conservatives and religious affiliates are of 
sexuality and pedophilia when they are two completely different things okay you, I'm as a as a gay male here getting married to someone who is engaged that's like quite offensive you know like I would never want to like screw some 14 or 15 year old and who knows if they are penetrating not penetrating people they probably are penetrating these boys they're all probably fucking each other and they all just want children and it's fucking sick and I feel like it's disgusting also that our Republican voters and our Republican Republican candidates refuse to talk about this. Turn the other way. But let's keep oppressing LGBT rights in about 35 states of America. But just say that this country is doing amazing, right? This country is doing amazing. Yeah. With social issues, we're behind so many countries. It's like not even funny and it's embarrassing. So just, yeah. So I think this is bullshit. I think this is a really big bad on the Catholic Church, the Catholic religion. I feel like people need to own up when our country is treating Americans badly. For example, the minority LGBT. Well, the majority minority, I would say. And I feel like it's time we start talking about these civil issues that our government is still bringing about to all of our LGBT plus Americans and I think it's bullshit and I think it's disgusting the Republican Party keeps enabling these kind of acts from from the Catholic Church from the from religion from religion being in our government and all this bullshit it's 2018 guys like come on we need to start believing in facts and science and not bullshit like this like that's gross like i think that's gross i'm sure most people that i know who are gay will think that's gross pedophilia is not part pedosexuality let me repeat is not part of the lgbt community is not part of the sexual spectrum of that whole rainbow spectrum that we have of sexuality and whatever else it's not part of that so get that out of your fucking heads. Please and thank you. God fucking damn it. Have a great day, guys. Please rate me. I really need ratings. You can check me out on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, YouTube, uh, Podbean, Spotify, Google Play Music, iTunes, all that good stuff. Please rate me. I need ratings. I need followers. I need everything. Um, I love you all. Have an amazing day. Bye.